Hi there, it's me, WTFE Moth Biatch, aka Robert. Um, this is um, a vlog. Uh, at this point in time when I upload this, I will probably be uploading several at one time uh, for the simple reason that I have been extremely behind. Um, so a lot of these are going to be blasts from the past vlogs. Um, I think I'm at nudity. I need to adjust my tripod a little bit. No, 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 okay, there we go. Um, because I... No, that's not good. Sorry. Because I simply haven't been able to uh, vlog a lot lately. I haven't been able to upload. Um, my USB ports are constantly flooded with things, and... Yeah. Um... But yeah, uh... At, at the time I'm recording this, it's about... I want to say 12.30, maybe 12.45 in the morning. Um, on Friday, November the 4th. Um, you might notice I do not look like I, like I am awake at 12.30, 12.45 in the morning. That is because I don't get a lot of sleep, so I don't, I've trained myself not to eat very much, but that's beside the point. Um, from here on out, I'm going to try and give each vlog my essential theme. So today's theme is guns. Um, yeah, I know this is a Nintendo Zapper. Whatever, it's a gun. That's what that's what everyone called it, the gun. Um. Oh wait, actually, you know what? Hang on. Before I get on that, a lot of you guys may have noticed that um on some of my videos, if not all of them, I don't know. I may not have done it for all of them yet. Um, you may have noticed that you're starting to get little ads popping up, whereas you wouldn't before. Especially on my Never Forget, and, uh, my first vlog, and, um, my, uh, uh, what was it called? Um, vlog number whatever, extremely tired. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Um, well, that's because I actually approved that. And, um, I would be really appreciative if you guys, I, okay, here's a breakdown. I was given the, I was given the opportunity to start making revenue off of my YouTube videos, um, mainly off of ad revenue. I'm not a partner. Um, if I, once I make a viral video, well, hopefully a viral video, then I'll start considering trying to get a partnership. But as for right now, um... I'm not a partner, but I am gaining ad revenue. Um, so I would be really appreciated if you guys would not use ad blocker. I'll admit it, I use it on my home PC. But you gotta realize, I am 14, I do not make any kind of money. And this is a way for me to start, you know, getting some money to start paying for things. And um, with that ad revenue, I'll actually be able to start, um, getting a better camera, you know, getting better lighting, better, I might be able to paint this door to get, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless, so I would really be appreciative if you guys would uh, go ahead and not use that ad blocker. I'm not going to say, you know, don't, don't use it or else I'll block you or something, no. I'm just saying that, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you, you know, started, uh, uh, you know, actually watching those ads, um, because I do get paid for those. Uh, you guys don't get, don't, I mean, you guys, it doesn't matter to me. You can go eat a sandwich or something while the ad is going. Just as long as that ad is played, I get my revenue. And that gives you more time to do other stuff. Um, one other thing that I wanted to talk about. And you know what, forget the theme of guns today, I'll do that some other week. Um... Today's theme is actually relationships. Um, I know that a lot that my main audience is um fourteen to eighteen year olds. Well, actually eleven to f well actually eleven to eighteen year olds, uh, males. And um, however, the other however a good amount is also like thirty five to fifty year olds, which is kind of creepy. I'm getting off track again point is that, um, relationships, 
guys, listen, I, I'll, I'll admit, uh, also, if you're a girl right now, you might want to tune out, because this is mainly for the guys. I'll do a part for you guys later, though. Don't worry if my vlog doesn't get too long, because I can only upload 15 minutes. But, um, guys, I know that a lot of us, uh, naturally, guys want to be dominant over, you know, their significant others. But that's not the way that you attract women. That's not the way that you get to be in an actual relationship. Now, the vast majority of my other guys that watch me, I know, are just in it for sex. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, that's not, that's not a way to have a relationship. It's just for sex. You actually want to get to know someone and learn to actually like them and learn what makes them tick, what what they who they are first. You don't want to just go into it straight for sex. It's extremely shallow and it gives all guys a bad name. So don't do it. It gives you less of a chance. It gives your next door neighbor less of a chance. It gives me less of a chance. It gives all of my viewers less of a chance, okay? So don't do that. Um... Also, guys, for God, for fuck's sake, actually treat women with respect. Don't call them bitches just because they, you know, didn't buy you a soda or some shit. Please. The way I see it, girls are meant, women are meant to be admired and are meant to be, um, you know, loved and seen and... They're meant to be outspoken, in my opinion. And the more that you guys try to control them, the and the worse you guys treat them, the worse and worse they feel. And some of you guys may not care. But you know what? I do. And a lot of guys do. So that's... Treat girls. Treat women right. Because eventually, if you don't, it's going to come back to haunt you. I can guarantee it. Alright, now, girls, you can start listening to this part. Guys, you can tune out if you want, I don't fucking care. Alright, girls. In case you didn't watch that, which I kind of hope you did, actually. I told all the guys that watch me, which is, like, what, a hundred guys? It's not that much, but I told them that... If they ever want to have any kind of chance with women, that they need to be kind. They need to treat you with respect. And you know what? I firmly believe that. But I need you guys to do something in return. And I know what you're all expecting me to say. You're like, put out! No. You don't need to put out. You don't need to have sex. Yeah, guys like sex, but guess what? You don't need it. If a guy really likes you, he will not just want you for your body. He will want you for you. And along that, I, I, I want, if you could, please, try to accept who they are. Unless they're like a total asshole, and they don't treat women right, and they, especially if you're in an abusive relationship. If, you're in an abu if you are in an abusive relationship, you need to let someone know. Don't just deal with it, because things are not going to get better. If you're not in an abusive relationship and you're just in, and then you're just in a relationship where your significant other is just an asshole, not all guys are like that. Not all guys are just assholes to women because they can be. There are plenty of very very nice guys out there, and yes, there are a lot that are not gay. And yes, there are a lot that actually look decent. Um. And coming from someone who, uh, I go in and out of relationships, so, I, I, in the past less than a year, I've been in three relationships, well actually I'm in my third right now, God, God bless her soul, uh, yeah, make all the jokes you want because I'm an atheist, but um, <coughs> and uh, all three of those, the girl had said, I love you. Um, well, of course, you know that, um, 
Tiffany and I, you know, Yumi and us, 12, subscribe to her. I still do care for her as a friend, as a female acquaintance. She probably fucking hates me, so don't tell her I sent you. Just go and subscribe or whatever. She doesn't... Well, no, don't subscribe. Don't, I, don't, I don't fucking care what you do. But, um... Yeah, um... I was with her, but then we had a big falling out, um, and that, and I got into a relationship with, uh, from, from group vlog number one, my friend Tori, my best friend Tori, actually, she's my best friend, she has been my best friend since probably sixth grade, as long as I've known her, she's been my best friend, and, um, for a while we went out, and we, and I firmly believe that I loved her. But, um, it obviously wasn't meant to be, and we kind of had to break things off. We are still very good friends. And then the one I'm with now, I will not reveal her name. I will put her channel in the description, or I will flash up on an annotation right now. It will stay up for a split second. And, um, what I want you, and what I, and... Listen, the point is, I'm, I'm starting to ramble, and I think I might be going over 15 minutes here, hang on. No, 11 minutes. Alright, I've got 4 minutes to explain this. Basically, accept guys for who they are. Don't try and change them. But also, don't change for them. A relationship is give and take. But you don't have to change for them. You don't have to change anything about any of you. If you think that you need to change something for yourself, that's fine. But don't ever let a significant other tell you that you need to change something just to please them. You're responsible for you. They aren't. Be who you are, not who they want you to be. And with that, I leave you with the message of the day, which is... Actually, what I just said. Be who you are to yourself and be who you are to the world. Don't be anyone else. Because you are the only you that you'll ever know. That's your cheesy inspirational message for the day. And I leave you with the classic farewell flick. So, and here comes a shaky camera. I will see you next time.